Hello, this is Dr. Peter Terzop, or also known as Dr. Pete or Dr. Z. I want to go over a couple of videos that address certain things that stress or concern students in class, APA being one of them. When I first started APA, I had to transition from a thing called Turabian. And Turabian is like the Chicago style and MLA. They're all different ways of showing how you found a source or how you used a source. And so it's uh, something that's academic. It's not something that we would use a lot in the real world, obviously. But it's something that's very important because when a professor grades something, they have to know where something was used and what it was. So for example, if I take a source, it could be a book, and Smith wrote it in 2014, well, that's fine, but what did you write and what did Smith write? And that's where citations and references, and that's where APA comes into to effect. Now what's intimidating about it is, is that we, we look at something, we've never done it, and all of a sudden we're like, well wait a second, now I've got to do this. Uh, why can't I just write? So we try to resist it. And the key is, there's just some basic things that help make it a lot easier. And, and I resisted it for some time, and then I realized this is as easy as it gets. APA is as easy as it gets when it comes to documenting sources. So I want to do a few things here to kind of address the main things and then we'll get into a little bit of specifics and just this is just a small short video to help you do a little bit better a little bit quicker uh, first thing is we're dealing with APA which is a type of documentation source a couple things you can do is AWLs those are what we call online writing labs typically the school will have one and they have student resources but at the end of the day if you just can't seem to work it or it doesn't seem effective there also is the Al Purdue P-U-R-D-U-E. The idea is University of Purdue set up this online writing lab for their students years ago and it became very popular online. So this is something that you can use if you like reading guides and reading specifics on how to do things. Another thing I do in class is I give example papers. If you do not get them through an email or a post or some type of other method, please drop me a line and I'll do that, get that to you right away via email. Uh, these are papers that are by students, so there's nothing unique or special. They're just average students that learn to do really good writing. Another program is Perla. This is a program that helps you to format and document different types of uh, vid, uh, different types of uh, formatting on the paper, like cover sheets, references, and sources. It's something that might be very helpful to save a lot of time. I used it for my dissertation, my doctorate, and it saved me a, a substantial amount of time. And it works with Microsoft Word. It's very easy to use. A couple things real quick, how to cite. If I cite something, I reference it. In other words, I use it first, and then at the end, I reference. So there's two aspects to how to use a source. Citation and reference. Always remember, one has to happen before the other. Another thing, too, is formatting. If I say, I just want to say, use a source, I say Smith. 2014 stated, noted the past tense, past tense is ED. I want to sit there and say, this is what Smith said, but I write it in my own words. So I say, Smith, 2014 stated, related, noted, suggested, anything like that, in my own words, his ideas. Now Smith, if I said, you know what, he said something, or she said something so good, I can't say it any better. So I'm going to take a little bit, not a lot of quote, just a little bit, I'm going to quote Smith because it can't be said any better. Smith, 2014, related, comma, quotation marks, and you put your quote, quotation marks, and you know your elliptical, lowercase p, period, and those are the page numbers. You only use the page number that the quote is found on, not a span of pages, and the most you'll ever have is two, because typically if it flows over, that's only two pages. So you, you cite the page number so that the professor can go back and look it up at the source on the page. And that's how that works. Now, you can write the idea of someone else's in your own words, and at the end you put Smith, 2014. Those are your three basic ways to cite, and then references is a whole different deal, and you have to use either Perla or the book for that. But the point is, citations are actually rather easy to do. These are the three general concepts. But if you have any more specifics, you can go to the other, again, the OWLs at the school or the Purdue online, and then you got Perla. And so there's a lot of different things and resources for you to use out there. At any point, though, feel free to contact me if you need any help. 
Again, this is Dr. P, and if you need anything, please give me an email or a call. Thank you.